We've been talking about this exciting night, expecting to see the moon turn red in a lunar eclipse. It'll be visible throughout the U.S., something that won't happen for another 20 years. Christy Kalishian tells us much more about it. In the words of NASA, Thursday night won't be an ordinary night. The colors we typically see at sunset will be projected onto the moon. You're sitting inside the shadow of the Earth at night. But that shadow is also shooting across space and reaching all the way to the moon, and you're participating in that alignment. Ernie Wright, science visualizer with NASA, says it's one of the few times the entire U.S. is in the sweet spot to see the lunar eclipse. In our area, it'll happen in the middle of the night, from around 1.30 a.m. to about 4.30. Enough time to snap a good picture. Steady the camera or even put it on a tripod so you don't end up with like just a really blurry spot on your on your images. Liberty Science Center in Jersey City is celebrating, calling it the longest day ever. It's the first time they'll be open into 4 a.m. to see the eclipse. On seeing the eclipse tonight? Yeah. Somewhere. It'll also be a party to celebrate what's nicknamed the blood moon. We're going to have blood moon chicken wings. Those are chicken wings that are smothered in Bloody Mary sauce to give it that red look. We bring everybody together and show them the power, the promise, and the pure fun of science. And while there is expected to be a lot of cloud coverage in our area during the time of the eclipse, here at the Liberty Science Center Planetarium, they're still expected to get a good view. Uh, lunar eclipses, basically they last, in this case, for three and a half hours. So even if clouds are coming and going, there's a really good chance of catching this lunar eclipse tonight. It's also happening into March 14th, better known as Pi Day. As the date represents the first three digits of Pi, all the more reason to stay up past the usual bedtime. Maybe we stay up to 1 a.m. and eat pie. Everybody wins. Yeah, let's do that. That'll okay. be fun. The next time the entire U.S. will be in perfect view of the lunar eclipse will be in 2048. In Jersey City, Christy Kalishian, CBS News, New York.